I've been seeing a lot about the Target controversy and their gay pride collection. I wanted to look more into it. And my research led me to something really interesting. It led me to a nonprofit organization called GLSEN.org. GLSEN.org is a nonprofit that is championing LGBTQ issues in K through 12. They say this, they've been doing it since 19. 90. Well, take a look at who their main corporate sponsors are. Main corporate partners are Target. You also have Hollister, which is Abercrombie and Fitch. You have Walt Disney, you have Wells Fargo, PetSmart, Santa, YouTube, Gucci, New Balance, all of these big companies, McDonald's, State Farm, so on and so forth. But Target is one of their biggest senior partners. Well, I have no problem with what they say their mission is to do, which is to uh, create, you know, inclusiveness and, and stop bullying against uh, LGBTQ students in schools. But where I start to draw an issue is when I dig deep into their actual curriculum. And this is a curriculum called their inclusive curriculum guide that they are bringing into schools around the country. And in their curriculum, for grades three through five, so these are young children, mind you. My son is about to go into second grade, so very soon he'll be in third grade. My daughter's in sixth, she's about to go into seventh. This is their grades three through five, but they have curriculum K through 12 with gender identity focus. Here's three through five right here in one of their curriculum examples, 10 minutes, Tell the students, gender identity is how you identify and see yourself. You may identify as a girl or a boy. If you don't feel like a boy, you might just identify as a person. Maybe none of these words feel like you today, or maybe you feel like a girl or a boy today, but later that word doesn't seem to fit. So these are young children whose minds are incredibly malleable, right? These are the children that we are here to guide in a good direction. And this kind of education is confusing them. It's telling them that you choose your identity, whatever you want. You're not a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter on your genitalia. It doesn't matter. None of that matters whatsoever. Actually, in fact, you could be a cat or a squirrel or a they or a them or him or a her. And it's confusing these young children. If we talk about gender dysphoria as a... Um, as a mental condition that needs therapy, we are creating this in young children by allowing this curriculum to be brought into our schools. Look, I have no problem if somebody wants to identify with whatever they want. No problem if someone wants to be gay or trans or bisexual. I have no problem. I will respect you. I believe in free will and i think that's super important where i draw the line and i think parents need to draw the line is where this education gets brought into our schools our public schools our charter schools and is teaching this to young children confusing them and creating gender dysphoria in young children that is completely unnecessary and unwarranted and uncalled for and should be completely illegal what are your thoughts on it let me know